Have you ever forgotten where you put your keys, or someone's name right after they told you? It's frustrating, right? But what if you could remember everything, every single second of your life? Sounds like a superpower, doesn't it? For one man, it was a living nightmare. Meet Solomon Shershevsky, a journalist living in 1920s Russia. To his colleagues, he was a bit of an oddball. His editor would give out long lists of names and addresses for assignments. And while everyone else scribbled frantically in their notebooks, Solomon just listened. He never took a single note. The editor, thinking he was lazy, decided to test him one day. He asked Solomon to repeat the entire list, word for word. And to everyone's astonishment, he did. Perfectly. This was the moment they realized Solomon wasn't ordinary. His memory was flawless. Scientists were baffled. They studied him for decades, trying to understand how his brain worked. It turned out he had a rare condition called hyperthemesia, combined with a powerful form of synesthesia. This meant his senses were all jumbled together. A number might have a taste, a sound might have a color, and a person's voice could have a specific texture. When he remembered something, he didn't just recall a fact. He relived the entire sensory experience. For Solomon, memories weren't just thoughts. They were overwhelming, multi-sensory assaults. While this might seem amazing, think about the downside. He couldn't forget the bad stuff, the painful memories, the embarrassing moments, the sad goodbyes, they never faded. They remained as fresh and raw as the day they happened. A simple word or a passing smell could trigger a flood of vivid, unwanted memories, trapping him in the past. His mind became a cluttered attic, filled with so much junk that he struggled to find what he actually needed. He had trouble understanding simple concepts and metaphors because his brain took everything literally, associating words with specific, concrete images. Reading a book was torture because each word would conjure up a cascade of distracting sensory memories. He eventually had to quit his job as a journalist and became a professional mnemonist, a stage performer who wowed audiences with his incredible memory. But even then, he was miserable. He desperately tried to find a way to forget, even attempting to mentally burn his memories on an imaginary blackboard. Solomon Shershevsky's story is a powerful reminder that our ability to forget is just as important as our ability to remember. Forgetting allows us to heal, to move on, and to make space for new experiences. A perfect memory isn't a gift. It can be a cage.